Despite all of the turmoil here in the last few days in the cryptocurrency market, XRP has led the entire cryptocurrency market with an impressive 13% month over month increase. And a lot of this is on the heels of Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO of Ripple, of course, the company that issued XRP. Uh, him going out and saying that we could be weeks away, not months away, from hearing uh, a verdict on the lawsuit that has been ongoing now for nearly two and a half years. So uh, very impressive growth here. XRP has held the line over 50 cents. Dialing back a little bit, we can go over to CoinMarketCap, take a look at XRP, still sitting pretty nicely over that 50 cent barrier, sitting at 52 cents. And again, while the entire cryptocurrency market sold off immensely, XRP only came from about 53 cents down to 49 cents, nearly 50 cents, and then quickly reversed course and has gained some of that back here just in the last 48 hours. So what else is going on behind XRP? What else is happening here? Because we're seeing whales accumulate right now uh, more than they have uh, in a very long time. We're also seeing retail demand, new holders coming in at a rate that we have not seen in a very long time. So why? What's happening? Is it just what Brad Garlinghouse is saying? And, and you know, the pent up demand now for XRP is starting to ramp up. I think it's some of that, but I think there's also some other things happening here. We're going to try to tackle that in this video. So appreciate you guys coming back to the channel. If it's your first time in, um, make sure you guys hit the like button. And if you get some value here, consider subscribing. Uh, we'd love to have you here. We talk about XRP, talk about the overall cryptocurrency market uh, every single day. And uh, we're also talking more about the global markets at large and what the feds are doing, how that's going to impact both crypto and stocks. So uh, let's dive into this. A recent research report by Crypto.com, one of the leading crypto exchanges out there in our industry, shows that the XRP uh, token uh, coin has emerged as the best performing asset in the entire cryptocurrency market this month so far. The report noted that the significant growth came despite, of course, the market contracting and uh, with XRP sustaining an upward trajectory. And on a year-to-date scale, XRP has witnessed an impressive change of over 50%, uh, keeping its value above the 50 cent mark. So what's happening here? Well, we're seeing XRP perpetual futures open interest really ramping up here to start the month of June. And you got to go all the way back into last March and last April uh, to really see uh, these numbers. So the report captured recent data from a prograde market data provider, uh, Kaiko. Uh, according to Kaiko, there has been a significant surge in open interest for XRP since the last week of May. Now, this open interest has reached yearly highs of more than 500 million, further bolstering XRP's position as a prominent player in the crypto space. And I think what's happening here, I do think there's some psychological things happening here just from an investor standpoint, right? So many things happening in terms of uh, other altcoins falling and, you know, this altcoin is talked about in the SEC lawsuit, metaverse tokens, and what have you. XRP is kind of just trucking along. It's kind of uh, not as sexy as some of these new ones, but people are kind of falling back on some of those cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, like Ethereum, like XRP, like Cardano. Some of these household names that have been in the top 10, I think are garnering more interest from retail investors right now because people are trying to mitigate risk, right? We're already in a very risky asset class in crypto, and then during a bear market, I think it even tightens up, right? It tightens up to the point where people want to funnel into the high market cap cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. Think about it. Bitcoin late last year was at 15000 So Bitcoin has significantly outperformed considering it's already been over 30000 this year in a very short time period. We're talking you know, just a few months. It's outperformed. It's went up 100% at times this year right? Versus other altcoins that have not seen anything remotely close to those gains. Why is that? Again, it's, it's to that same point. People are mitigating risk. They're looking at it and saying, okay, if the top cryptocurrencies, you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum and XRP are all at a discount now, this is the time to really accumulate those uh, first and foremost. Now, there's also been some developments surrounding the SEC lawsuit, right? As reported by the Crypto Basic, the court previously ruled in favor of Ripple, noting that the SEC cannot shield the highly contested Hinman documents from public's view. This was a big win for Ripple, so I certainly think, you know, whales were accumulating when this news came out. I, I also think retail money was accumulating or adding new positions as this news came out. 
The public eagerly awaits now the release of the unredacted documents by June 13th. So that is a catalyst that we have coming here in the next five days. Another reason why XRP's price has remained steady and even come up here in the last month. Okay, Again, a lot of anticipation uh, surrounding this date and obviously the case at large. While no specific date has been set for the final judgment, the community remains hopeful that a decision will be reached before the year concludes. To that point, Brad Garlinghouse said it could be sooner rather than later. And I think, again, that has fueled the fire and the interest right now in XRP. So we're all eyes on that June 13th date. Right now, that's going to be a very, very important date to watch. And I think that more than anything right now is why we're seeing this retail demand. So very, very uh, interesting stuff here. We'll be keeping tabs on it for you. Make sure you're locked in, clicking that subscribe button down below. Appreciate you guys. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Take care. Bye.